gentlemen, so we are here at the pretty much the end of the party. Can you use the word party? Oh, I think you could, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so how did everything go? Ah, oh, very well, Tony. Yes. We got the man in here, but anyway, so Paul, how did the whole thing go? How do you feel? It was absolutely wonderful. I mean, this guy has done a great job. He's he's taken the success of last year, built on it, made it better, made it bigger. How many people we have here tonight? 450. That's what they charged me for. <laughs> 450. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's the actual? 450. No, I think, yeah, it's pretty accurate. Yeah. 161. Yeah, probably. <laughs> now, but it is important that we said, you know, this is a charity event. I said this in my introduction. And the British Chamber will put a little percentage of their money to their causes. The Australian Chamber will put to their causes. And here in Padia, well, specifically for the Movers and Shakers, then it will go to the Lighthouse Club. Lighthouse, which is British Chamber, Aussie Chamber. Yeah, yeah it's split in th three ways, yeah. yeah but, but with the Lighthouse Club, that will go to the... Uh, Melissa Cosgrove Foundation, so it'll help children directly here in Padilla who've been disadvantaged by the building trade. It's wonderful stuff. I mean, everybody's had a great night. That's great. I, I am interviewing Paul. <laughs> you are. Well, so, yeah, that's yeah. good. Continue, continue. <laughs> no, no, but how, how do you feel? How did the whole thing go? Nah, I'm very happy, you know, it's a great turnout and uh, I mean, there's been a lot of effort put into the uh, Duro. You, you, could, you, could, you could almost say like a project, you know. Um, although we only kicked it off marketing-wise a month ago, but you know, it's uh, 450 people here, quality crowd, I would say. You know, they're all business leaders in the Eastern Seaboard. They're all players. Uh, they're all big players, yeah. yeah. So yeah, they're I'm very, places. very moving and shakers. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's pretty much like a corporations of any industries that you would imagine even the media industry themselves they actually yeah. Yeah. Well, they want to get, get together of course yeah yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. They, they did and uh, I'm, I'm very pleased with it I didn't really invite anyone to the party but the biggest shock was almost when CNN came in and they were actually here and uh, but apart from that you know it's about the uh, <laughs> no no it's not joking it's not joking it's it's serious it's true no no it's serious and um, the feedback that I got on the night itself was really absolutely thrilling. Um, prior to the event, I told you before, uh, Paul, I got inquiries like, you know, people from Malaysia, Hong Kong, uh, you know, can we fly in for the event? And if you ask me why, I, I can't really tell you, you know, but it, it just turned out this way. And, you know, tonight I was a bit worried. When we just started the reception, there was a bit of a traffic jam sure. coming to Patia, yeah. and um, so we started off pretty late. Um, but by the time 6:30 reached, I saw 400, sure. maybe 500 people out outside. You know, it was great. Yeah, absolutely so, great. So case now, I mean, I think the last question has to be: Where do you go from here? We'll put it another notch up next year. Really? Let's let's try. Yeah, let's try. But then we. Did, this is five star already, you know, so how much further can you go? But I think by the time we're a year further than, than today, we grow a larger community because I'm the chairman of Lighthouse and Lighthouse is doing its thing every month anyway. So that's growing well, a larger you know, community. You know, I had, I had an idea how you can save some money but still have the quality. Tell me. Uh, <laughs> when you have the swing rear models, only pay for the bottom half of the big Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Uh, Tony, cut, cut, <laughs> cut. <laughs> That's no, all right. No, yeah. He's making, trying to make his no, 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 no. He's speaking on behalf of okay. 10,000 people. My idea is, you know, if you throw a network party, you can do a real, true corporate network party. But if you spice it up a little bit, oh, yeah. I mean, the effect yeah, 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 is yeah. much better. And, yeah. you know, it's, it's already 1030 and there's still 300 people here, you know, so, yeah. What you're trying to do is you're trying to setting up a new set of standard, like a kind of a new level for any networking in the Eastern Seaboard or in Thailand. Or I can't really say put up a new level. The thing is that um, what you're trying to do is to create maybe a little bit of a different vibe to a network project. No, it is different. It is different. The, when, I, when I started to do Lighthouse, um, with all due respect, if you're trying to push name cards onto an event, sure. um, 
or if you're being introduced to a friend that says you know listen if you want to do business do business with this guy because yeah, yeah. he's a friend of mine what I see with Lighthouse Lighthouse is growing a, a, a friend community okay. and everyone is very you know loyal to to come to the Lighthouse functions um, and and the same thing is with movers and shakers you know it's like almost a friendly community sure. um, but they're all big players in the market so and that's what we're looking at okay. hello Zanny hello. Zanny are you going to be coming to movers and shakers in 2011 I would love to and everything gonna be bigger and better and more fun well I'm, I'm sure you will be even a bigger and better star by then I'm sure too and when I mean bigger I don't I don't mean you know no I don't mean that too <laughs> I, I, I still keep this uh, small one a little one get back to the serious business <laughs> okay okay no, no, listen no. I think we're gonna wind it up okay guys yeah. okay all right. okay we've had a great night here I'm gonna have one more interview with the people who organize the uh, fashion event the swimwear and uh, you know you never know it might be done topless but certainly not by me okay all right so I'll leave this with Paul thank you thank you Okay, well, you've seen the fashion show, the swimwear show, wasn't it fantastic? And we're just about to wrap things up, but there's time to catch up with two more beautiful women here at Centara. This is Katarina, or Katharina, yeah. and also Ritz. Ritz, yeah. Ritz. Now, let's start with you, Ritz. You, what, what's your part in tonight? What do you do? Well, actually, I just help uh, Katarina to organize all the fashion show for tonight. <laughs> Normally, yes, yes, I try, you know, but I uh, uh, organize all the fashion show uh, okay. for Katarina most of it and um, uh, for the other it's so the, these models that we see and they work for you yes for tonight yes okay well they were very beautiful thank you so much and, and you are as well those amazing eyelashes thank you are they real <laughs> yeah. all right okay sure and I'll take our shoes as well okay so the, you you supplied the swimwear right for yeah. tonight right yeah. it's beautiful swimwear yeah isn't it right? yeah you, this is your this is your well it's not just your passion it's your business right yeah yeah it's my business yeah so where are you you're based in Bangkok I'm ba no I actually based in uh, Phuket oh really yeah but I, I you know I do business in Bangkok too so we we launch with department stores in all over Thailand oh okay. central Shidlam next week oh right yeah okay, okay. well wow. so you've got all the all the fingers in the right pies yeah so some of the the swimwear we've seen tonight how much would that cost oh the top one the top one would the top be one, you mean you mean the, the top one? the top the, the top <laughs> the top one would be like eight thousand baht eight thousand yeah so okay so this is really pricey but the uh, sun seeker is about three thousand so it's there's a range there okay. so yeah okay well I, you know i heard a few francs saying they would actually pay more tonight for I'm sure the, they tonight, used. tonight the price is really high, sky high. Yeah, yeah no, only because the models have worn them, right? Yeah, aren't they? Yeah, <laughs> they're Sorry, gorgeous. I'm, I'm being a bit the show bit. was great. No, it was very yeah. nice, very nice. And actually, I have to say, it was very nice how the models, they all had the... Humor. Uh, well, they had the humor, but it's, it's great And the how, bodies. I didn't know it. <laughs> No, but how they, how they all have their hair, you know, so you make them all look the same so that the focus is actually on the swimwear, right? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, that's part of the idea, but still, yeah, yeah it's also like eye-catching, eye-catching. Well, it is eye-catching, and you are as well, darling. Thank you, yeah, thank yeah. you. Where are you from? I'm from Sweden. Sweden. 
long way from here. A long way from here, and well, my God, Sweden now, right? Yeah. You don't want to be there this no, time no. of year, right? Unless you like snow and ice bears, and you know. Uh, have you ever, have you ever had, have you ever experienced snow? Oh well, I have experienced in a, in a cold winter, but never going to Sweden yet. You know, I, I would love to see you in that dress, oh. in minus, sub minus temperatures. Uh, don't you like to see me in a swimming wear from a Catalina? <laughs> Okay, I think we're going to wrap it up, yeah. yeah. <laughs> okay, listen, we're